Hi everybody, this is Susie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to bring to you another video on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts Wild Bunch. So, I hope you can stick around and check out my latest creation that I've made on their behalf. So, uh, without hesitation, I'd like to show you uh, a beautiful um, altered wooden frame. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that the roses that I used in this altered frame are the tea roses. They're the light burgundy cream tea roses, a two-tone. They're absolutely beautiful, and just in case you guys want to run and get them, they are FM00398 on wildorchocrafts.com. I never really do that, but I, I just had so many people come back to me through Facebook messages, what is that flower that you're showing on that picture? So um, I'm going to tell you what I did here first. Um, this was just your basic $1 frame that you can purchase at Michael's Craft Store. Uh, it's completely raw wood. Um, and how it comes, it's just like a little stick that you stick in the back, or you can have it uh, facing landscape or uh, portrait, either way that you like. I painted the back gold, all the edges in gold, and the front gold as well. And the reason why I did that is because I do like the gold leaf effect that I get when I use vintage lace applied on top of the paint. And if you look closer, some of you had seen pictures on Facebook, but I'm going to show you on the video now. If you look closer, it's really a nice effect when you put the lace right on top of the paint, especially if the paint is gold. And then again, you can use any color lace or paint that you like, along with the trim that I use, which is Chinese braid in a beige color, just to coordinate with the lace and to give it a Victorian feel. Um, I had adhered that with uh, the hot glue gun, so which was pretty simple. Um, I just turned the edges slightly. I didn't cut them and, and keep going. Um, as far as the Wild Orchid Crafts flowers go, they are absolutely stunning. These flowers are handmade mulberry paper flowers. They're beautiful. They are extremely lifelike looking. They're very sturdy in their feel. They're really easy to work with. You can make them smaller if you like. And you can also make them larger by tearing apart another flower and adding pieces. Um, if you're interested in seeing something like that, I can certainly do a tutorial for you. I've done that in the past. Um, yeah, these uh, these tea roses are very beautiful. And as I said before, the item number is FM-00398. I've taken a, a liking to this rose because it's so realistic in person that you really would think it's a small, dried-out rose. And this is not a tiny rose. The size is one and a half inches, which is 40 millimeters. Just beautiful. The color is like a mauve slash burgundy with a hint of pink and cream in there. Just very, very elegant for those of you who may um, have this color scheme in your home or like that Victorian feel or even a shabby look. Uh, may have a party, want to make favors. This is an amazing, amazing flower uh, to work with. I, do, I did have a really nice time playing with these. Um, the, other, uh, the other two flowers that are there, um, I can get the names of those and item numbers, of course. Uh, that will be listed in the drop-down box below. Um, I've also used my usual style of uh, scattered pearls, and um, this time I had used some uh, rhinestones, very pretty. And I'm just going to zoom up over here. If you can see that little flower, it's the heather flower, I believe it's called. I will mention that again, like I said, in the drop-down box below, as I always do. The item number and name of the flower, in case you're interested to try some of these for yourself. Just such a lovely, delicate-looking flower. A very beautiful for fill-ins or accents, and you can even cut them in half and use them that way in your projects if you uh, need to spread it out if they're too long. But they're really very pretty. I have to say they're at least an inch and a half in the, in, in the length. Uh, very, very pretty uh, little flower, along with the calla lily that's right next to it, which you all know that that's my favorite flower. So um, just getting back to the, to the rest of the frame, uh, there's no glass in front of this. And what I like to do with these types of frames when I alter them, um, I haven't done one in a little while, but there's so many times where I just keep altering them because it's a really quick and easy project and very inexpensive for a gift. Um, I put a piece of acetate plastic right in front of the cardboard, and then I glue the picture onto the cardboard, put the acetate, and then put it onto the picture. It doesn't get dusty. 
Um, unless you're careless about that and it doesn't bother you and you could just change the picture up when you need to, then you can do that as well. But that's what I like to do in case you're curious uh, or have a piece of glass made, certainly, but then you'll spend so much more money than the entire frame is worth. Um, at the bottom left-hand side, uh, you can see that I've also placed the flowers down exactly the way they are arranged at the very top right hand of the um, of this uh, design of the frame. And you can see, um, if you can see like right here, see that? It's like a beautiful cream. And if you can see the dimension on that flower, how it comes right off of the frame, it's just absolutely lovely. See, even if you were to hold it from from the bottom you can see how they stand off just so beautiful and I just totally love the Wild Offer Craft flowers so you can go on over to www.wildoffercrafts.com and check out some of the beautiful flowers that they have to offer to you and if you are a business owner there are special uh, special specials for you um, you can go in and check out what they have uh, listed under uh, business owners for purchasing so um, it's um, the flowers are absolutely beautiful. That's that's I can't even say enough about it. So um, again, I thank you so much, and I hope you can go over to the Wild Orchid Crafts page on YouTube and check out all the other beautiful artists that we have on board with us and their creations, tutorials, etc. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed the frame that I'm sharing with you today. And I do have some more creations coming up. So I hope that you can stick around, subscribe, and come on by again and um, maybe even share with me some of the creations that you made uh, and have uh, been inspired by me showing you what I've created today. So thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day, everybody.